Hello boys, it's me, Pimple Peterson. Do you see that? I suppose it's not too bad. You know what else isn't too bad? This here. So this is the Werewolf Barbarian. Let me switch. Alright, so the main main kind of piece of this is we're using the Wolf Howl. So this gives the Barbarian Feral Rage, Lycanthropy, and Werewolf as the O skill, so we can use it. So this is the main piece you're going to need for this build. It's quite fundamental. So... Um, positives of this build is it's very tanky, a lot of spear skills, a lot of spear passives and everything, but it's only single target because we can only unfortunately use Feral Rage, but that means our sustain is actually quite good. So, let's do scats, stats, scats, stats, skills, gear, and then we'll get into it, see what Hasin is doing. You know how it is, boys, by now. You know how it is. Level 90, Barbarian. So, base strength is 91, just enough to wear gear, obviously. Dexterity is... I put extra points in here because we had a lot to spare and I want to bump up that attack rating. Since we are single target, it is quite important. And we are using Reaper's Toll as well. So the sooner we can proc that Decrypify, even though it is 33%, the sooner we can proc it, then you know the sooner we can start dealing that extra 50% damage along with the Mercenary too. So the rest we've bumped into Vitality with nothing into Energy. So our life here is 1712 before Battle Orders and before Werewolves, so it is going to be quite high, which is sick. So I'm looking forward to show you that. Combat skills is nothing, because we can't use anything in Werewolf form, boys, as you know. Polearm, we're using a polearm, so we're going to be chucking everything in here. One point here, one point here. I put one extra point just for, you know, that extra 2%. After that, it reduces down to one, so that's my leftovers. Iron skin is maxed out. We've got the rest into natural resistance as my last one, just to bump us up a bit further. I can max it out, but couldn't be bothered switching for one charm, so boo-hoo. And everything else is pumped into one, 20 shout, 20 battle orders, and one into battle command. So, we're not using anything like berserk. We don't need to worry about that ruining our defenses. So we maxed iron skin, max shout, max battle orders, and in werewolf form, that's going to be with tanky as shit boys, which is nice. Mercenary first to mix it up. And uh, and uh, and and does uh, fortitude, and he's got a pride. Not the best base, but since we're using Reaper's Toll, we don't need to have a decrypify on our mercenary, so we can use this, take advantage of the concentration, and then give us extra damage. Because we're single target, so we want to do as much damage as we can as single target. And he's also got Might too. Now, moving over to our gear. So, Reaper's Toll, Thresher. I've got a perfect 240 ED with a shale. I haven't got one with an Earth Thresher. I know you guys probably seen, like, Dabronsky's hot video with, you know, reaper wolf and all of that that's definitely viable um it's you know kind of hard to get a high ed um like f reaper's toll and to get a zod socketed in there but that would be a good option um if you if you want to build something like this and you don't quite have that get get a high ed one like this and if you socket a shell in it you can get an extra 0.5 hits per second so using this with the shell we can hit 2.78 times per second using feral rage in werewolf so that's something to note main piece of gear as i showed you uh wolf howl so this does have quite a varying range of stats it, it might be a little bit difficult to find one yourself that has um like a decent range so it has plus three war cries uh mine socketed with a 15 ies jewel just to help me bump up the break point but the feral rage lycanthropy and werewolf they all vary between i i think um, up to six from like maybe three or four so you want to try and get the highest that you can uh, also since it's an o skill when we do buff up with werewolf we can switch and we do need dual hodos on switch because that helps us bump up uh, battle orders by six but also we're casting werewolf in this um, with this switch buff weapon as well so that's why we don't want to have war cry sticks like these because i was doing that before and i i forgot so these things here so we can't use those we have to use hodos boys so just remember that the rest of the gear though we'll be using fortitude just to you know bump up that damage we've got life resistances which is great high lords is self-explanatory other kind of melee gear which you've seen before string of ears raven frost gore riders dual leech ring with res and laying of hands is kind of unbeatable here um just for the single target and the massive resistances is really good man annihilus charm hellfire torch and as much max damage and attack rating as you can get. Well, I guess there's a res charm. Um, and yeah, same goes for these. If you can get uh, max damage and attack rating, aha, max damage attack rating with faster run walk 
would be really good. They'd probably be best in slot for this particular build because we can't actually use any skills when we're in werewolf form. So what we do is we switch over here to the dual hodos and as you can see our werewolf is now level 14. So if we cast it here with our main handout it's only 8 but over here we're now at 14. Also when checking your, um, if you're building this on like D2 planner I would suggest checking um, like what level your werewolf is on switch because higher level werewolf does actually determine what attack speed you have as you could see here um, at level 8 attack speed is 53 but casting on switch gives me an extra plus 10 percent attack speed at level 14 so just something to note if you're wondering like why am i not reaching my attack speed breakpoints just make sure you switch and you're casting it with even like um if you have two spirits so a spirit sword spirit shield then that's good enough that's plus four so what we want to do is definitely cast out of that let's go to a few places first and i'll buff up i'll show you what the kind of final stats are looking like here all right yeah and then we're buffing up through there okay now we are ceiling fully buffed with our reaper's toll so we don't yet have the might up from the mercenary but that's what we're sitting at with concentration our attack rating is looking pretty healthy pretty healthy i probably can you know i probably can take out some of the points in dexterity but not too worried i've got five over five thousand life which is absolutely phenomenal defense is 18k or 18.5k stupendous boys and we've got 28 percent lifesteal that's before you even hit with feral rage mate so this is absolutely perfect sustain let's run down here and get it started hopefully might is going to proc up soon so i can show you the final result with that oh, i wish there was fury or something just even level one fury anything to utilize but we're, we're kind of stuck to feral rage only single target boys unfortunately but it is very strong i make sure i pick up some shit so i don't forget it two hits this is players one so i know i know this is strong and quick so let's just run up here and smash out aldrich real quick You really just demolish everything on a single target. All right, so with Might, we're sitting at 7482. Looking pretty nice. And the Mercenary himself is sitting at 37. It's important um, to note when using Pride, guys, that it doesn't have enhanced damage on it. So I do recommend a Fortitude with that. And I do recommend maybe probably like an Andes or even like a... Um, I was going to say, is it a Peasant Crown? Is that the one? Yeah, well, whatever has um, Life Leech, basically. Let's go Travon Call and I'll show you how that do. How that do. How that do, boys. How that do. Christ, take your time. I'm keen to try this exact setup um, on like. Fury Wolf. It's probably going to be damn good as well. I guess it would just be a slightly weaker version than the one that Dabromsky did, actually, of like the Reaper Wolf. It is going to be definitely good. Um, I did try a few different weapons with this particular setup as well, but like the Life Leech and um, Ignore's Target, Deadly Strike, and Decrypify, especially from Reaper's Toll, it just made it so much better. Just nothing. No damage at all taken, really. Super easy, lads. Super easy. Suppose we can go down to River of Flame, where I usually, usually do runs down here. Oh, should we buff up again? Why not? And just again, with um, Hodos out, dual Hodos, we are at 15 Werewolf. I know I realized it was 14 before, and that's probably because I forgot to battle command before I, I actually casted it. So make sure you remember that too, boys. So 
So when we get up our stacks of Feral Rage, it gives us a bunch of movement speed, so 19 to 45, attack rating increase. The duration is quite long too, as you can see it's at 20. So my skill level is plus 9. You don't need it that high to get some decent stacks on. And of course, as you can see down the bottom, life steal from 4 to 44%. And that's on top of my 20 or so that I already had. Let's see if we can just blitz through this now, boys. This really is an impressive build. It's just, it, it looks a bit lackluster um, just on, at face value because it is only single target. But don't underestimate it. It's just, think of it as a barbarian variant of the Brunsky's one. Of the Reaper Wolf, I guess. <laughs> like, there's, there's no AoE from Fury or anything of that. But it's still good, boys. Still very strong. It's just slow at clearing because it's all single target. Two and a half hits and the elite is down. There isn't really much we can do to add AoE. Um, back when I did test this on PTR in Players 8, the best performing two setups that I found was this one here with Reaper's Toll. Um, obviously, if you can get an F1 that is Zodded and Perfect ED, it is going to be better. Um, but, you know, this is what I have for the meantime. And since I swapped my one out between Mercenary and myself, then, it, you know, it's perfect for my use. Um, but the other setup I tested, which um, performed surprisingly well for high player counts, was having a Phoenix Shield and then a Shield um, Stormlash. Quite good. With the, the attack speed um, that it provides, the Crushing Blow and the Static. Um, the Static gives us, like, a bit more AoE. Just... It, kind of you can't see it as effectively but it does just kind of whittle down the um you know the health of surrounding enemies i guess socketing a storm lash with a burr rune would be you know slightly better one thing i didn't do um is i didn't check the uh, potential attack speed breakpoints with um storm lash and phoenix but uh, I i'm not too worried about that because generally this did perform better overall should we take a wolf head, maybe? It is very easy to keep the stacks up with Feral Rage once you start. You don't have to worry about any other skills. You just simply go around like this and you just slap dudes easy peasy you kind of can't get it wrong the only thing you can get wrong is just maybe the maybe your gear isn't quite right beforehand but in terms of playing you can't get it wrong you really can't let's show you the boss clear as well and decrypify on now easy as that and another spirit mask awesome well there you go there you go so that is the Werewolf Barbarian. So remember, that is the Wolf Howl. That gives us the main thing. If you want, you can actually cast it with this and then swap it out to something like a G-Face and potentially do Ubers with it. It is very strong. It is very um, limited, <laughs> but it is very strong. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that because I enjoyed this one. Um, and I'll see you in the next one, I suppose. Yeah, yeah.